Hi, it's Sarah from sarahscoop.com, and this holiday season, I've teamed up with Aflac to give back to someone who truly deserves it. Hello, I am Christina Mathis, and I was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer in February of this year, and I had a double mastectomy in March, and tried to do natural stuff, but wasn't cost effective for me, didn't work, and it came back. Now I'm at a stage four, and I'm going to the Cancer Treatment Center. And I have done two out of eight chemo sessions so far. Today, Christina and her mom are going to take a moment to relax and have a spa day. Then later on, we're gonna get the whole family together for something fun. Christina for years and she is always putting other people first. So today and tonight it's all about spoiling her. They said earrings are good too for when you lose your hair. testimony to somebody and just to inspire people that just because you have a cancer diagnosis doesn't mean it's a death sentence it's just take life and don't take it for granted and live it to the fullest <laughs> today you guys are about to get massages and facials how are you feeling excited <laughs> we did it again ready yeah because you guys have been like so busy doing all of this traveling all the time. So how yeah. does it feel to get a chance to relax? Uh, unreal. I don't know, I feel like it's a dream. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> like I'm waiting to wake up. <laughs> Feeling pampered. <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited because I'm about ready to get a massage, which I've not had in forever. And then I'll be getting a facial. So I've never had one of those before. And I'm excited because my mom's getting the same thing and she really deserves it because she's been here with me helping me through this journey. And so I'm really excited that we get to take this day and just relax. I'm Christina's mother. I am very proud of my baby girl. She's very strong, strong-willed, um, very much a good Christian. She has got so much faith and she's going to make it. Now we're going to go get in a limo and Christina and her family are going to go see the Kansas City Plaza Lights, then get a great dinner together. the most awesome day. Yep, we did our facials and I can't believe I've never had one before. It was awesome. It was amazing. And the massage and mom finally got to get her pedicure. I got pedicure my pedicure. She needed. Sparkly red. So it was an amazing day and now we're here getting ready to eat some amazing food. And see the Plaza Christmas lights. Yes. I'm Christina's brother, the handsome one. And uh, we're all here to help Christy with her support and whatnot. And uh, gonna go see the Plaza Lights and have some fun tonight. brother. I just want to say, Christy, that I, I'm happy that you're my sister. I love you and I'm very proud of you. Hi, I'm Christina's dad and I'm wishing her the, the best and the strength and to get well. 
Yeah. Hi, I'm Christina's husband, um, and she will make it through this with flying colors, and we all love you very much. So today has been absolutely amazing, and I couldn't have asked for a better day to be with my family and my mom. I pick up some. Um, Christmas gifts for our little ones and I'm gonna get a handbag um, for traveling so that's what we're doing so our family does like little dance parties and so this would be perfect for our little foster kids her um, treatment is done um, my husband and I have been foster parents for about two years now um, we've had to put it on hold, um, but we have two little ones that we are hoping to adopt um, here next year. Um, we've fallen in love with. Um, and so I, um, we have our own business, but I have quit during this time, and I think that's kind of meant to be so I can dive into foster care. It's really on my heart um, for these kids that need a good, loving home. Um, and so I'm, it's kind of meant to be that I got to quit my job. It's unfortunate why, but um, you know, you can make it anything turn into a positive. It doesn't matter what it is. So. so since I go to Arizona every two weeks, we are looking for some um, suitcases. Yeah, so it was really hard thinking of things that I needed for once because, um, you know, when you find out that you have cancer, it's definitely a, a shock and it's scary, but you can you can take it and run with it and just make the best of it. And uh, so I do. I mean, I I love giving to everybody, and that's that's what makes me happy. Just making other people happy. So it was really hard to accept that you know gifts and you know going shopping and all this the limo ride and everything it was really hard but um, I'm really thankful for it and I do understand how that makes other people feel and that's what I love I love giving to people so thank you <laughs>